Hello and welcome back to part four of the iOS pen testing series, the local data storage. In this video, we're going to look at the property lists, also known as plist files. A property list is a file which stores serialized data, usually preferences for the application or for user accounts, but they can be used to store any arbitrary data. It's necessary to understand the importance of the plist files and the data they can hold in them. This is because they can hold sensitive information such as API keys, AWS secrets, and as a pen tester or a bug bounty hunter, we can find these keys and these secrets and we can exploit them to show the client the impact that they can have from being published within the plist files. Property list files are sometimes in a binary format or a plain text format. There's a special tool we can utilize for reading the binary format known as plist util. Okay, enough of the background. Let's jump into the DVIA application and see if we can find and read plist files. All of this can be done in objection, which is probably the easiest way of doing it as we'll spend a lot of time in objection anyway, so it makes sense for us to read the data from within it. So let's open the DVIA app and navigate to local data storage and enter plists. Then from here, all we have to do is type in any username and password you want. So make it anything that you can identify easily. In my case, I'm gonna do Mantis and Mantis123. And then just click save in plist file. Right, and now if we go back to our computer, we'll be able to look for these plist files with an objection. Okay, so now we just need to start up objection. So again, we'll do frida-ps-ua, type objection, and we type dash g. And then in the quotes, we just need to put dvia v2 and explore, just like that. And then we're hooked into objection again. Uh, sorry, we're hooked into the iOS application again. And now we need to look for where the plist files might be stored. So there's an easy way of doing this. The objection tool has a command called env, which is env, which just brings up the environment paths. The plist files could be anywhere within here. So it could be within bundle path, caches directory, document directory, or library directory. Um, I know in this case it's within the document directory. However, if you just want to look for all plist files within the directories, then all you have to do is SSH into the iPad and then change your directory to the working directory of the application and then run a find command for any files that end in .plist. Okay, anyway. So all we need to do here from objection is grab the document directory. Then we can, can just CD from here. And if we just run an LS, you can see what's in here. And we see there's a user.plist file. And the user.plist file should contain all of our information. So we can actually do a command called iOS plist cat user info.plist. And there you go, there's our data there. The great thing about this is it's all with an objection. There's no jumping out between different applications. Um, obviously, like I said, you can SSH into the iPad and then do it that way. But I find it easier just to do everything within objection if we can. Okay, so that wraps up this video. I'm going to go through the NS user defaults challenge in the next video. But for now, if you learned anything, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.